Hello everyone, welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie it to Duke, which is a pupa pattern using some goose biots. And the front quite resembles a prince nymph, but it's a really stripped down version of it without all the fancy the stuff. The hook I'm using is this Hans Barbless uh, nymph hook. And this one is like the Partridge uh, check nymph. It has this nice continuous band. This one is called uh, 554. You can tie this in a size 14, but you could tie this in any size you, you like to match the naturals. To start this off, I'm going to add just a little bit of weight. So, what I do is I do about 9 10 turns or so of some lead free wire. This one is uh, 0.015, and then to get a nice taper, I'm going to use my flat nose pliers and just squeeze the end or the tag here and this will allow you when you wind this on it will give a nice taper and this is I think the easiest way to get a taper on your flies. To secure this I'm going to add a thin coat of glue and this one is really runny as you can see so I'm just going to soak up the excess, but it's really nice to have a really runny glue when you when you glue um, the lead-free wire because it will sink down inside all the turns and really bind this down. So once the glue has dried a little, I'm going to grab my 18 watt nano silk from Samplefly here in the color olive, and I'm just going to put down a layer of thread. And all the way back to the end of the fly, cut off the excess and here at the back of the fly I'm going to tie in the first material which is going to be the, the main or the only material for the body and this is some flexi body from virtual nymph this one is in the color tan which is this quite orangey brown I've cut off a strip about 3-4 millimeters That's what I do I'm going to cut off the end at an angle and this is really easier to tie in this way then I'm going to place the longer end facing down and tying this in right by the tip I'm going to tie this down at the back of the fly and here you want to pull on this just a little but not too much and also you don't want to cut through the material with your thread and then all the way up and then leave your thread about a few millimeters behind the eye and then you want to start wrapping this up the whole body and here is exactly the same technique as you would for some uh, nymph skin or any other material some thin foam you want to get some nice segments to your fly so you want to slightly overlap each turn this will bring out this nice segmentation and then when you reach the end of your uh, your wire you want to do one turn and then go down onto the bare hook or where only the thread is a few turns more once you reach the thread Tie it off with some quite heavy turns, you don't want to slip or you don't want the, mat the material to slip and come undone. Then cut this off really close, a few more turns in front to tidy up. And here what we will do is to do a quick whip finish, pull tight, cut off. And now we have this body here. And as you see, we have the same color underneath and on the top. And most or all uh, nymphs and pupas, they usually have a much darker back than belly. So what I will do is I'm going to grab a dark brown marker and I'm going to color this. And here I'm coloring this the opposite way of... Um, 
of the segmentation or what you will get is you will get a lot of color that will stay in the grooves if you color it this way so it will give this nice segmented effect and you will also have some of the color that will run all the way to the bottom and this will also just enhance the segmented effect on this fly and then I'm going to grab a lighter brown and this one I'm going to run the opposite way just to take away some of this dark dark brown on the top I don't think it makes a huge difference but when you're going to fish you're always going to grab the nicest looking fly so why not give it just this few more seconds at the vise and then you're going to fish with it instead of just leaving it in a box the whole season coloring with a marker what it will do is it will dull down the surface just a little so I'm going to come with some varnish this is hard as nails from Sally Hansen once the varnish is dry we can then continue tying the fly I'm going to reattach the thread at the eye and then I'm going to attach my first goose by it this one is olive and I'm just going to attach it on my side slightly on the top and you want the length to be about the length of the body maybe slightly longer you want to have the natural curve of it going towards towards the body so there are a few turns on my side and then I'm going to take exactly the same on the other side a few turns make sure these are well placed and the right length once you're happy you can then make a few heavy turns to bind this down then reach in with your scissors and we're going to cut this off quite close want to cut off the ends then a few more turns just to tidy up and to really bind this down there we have these on the top this will represent some wing buds or some wings and this is a really generic pattern that you can tie in a lot of different colors here so I've chosen this orange the olive brown but you could also tie this in tan or in some brown or black or anything and this could represent a lot of different nymphs or pupas all from mayflies to stoneflies to caddisflies so it's a really really easy to tie and effective pattern and then to blend in these biots with the rest I'm going to grab some horse ear plus stubbing in the color olive and I just want a small pinch of this and I'm going to dub it onto the thread and here a few turns at the back I think I will add a little bit more but you really don't want to overdo this because we're going to add some more dubbing in darker color in front so what I have is a mix of some dark horse ear and some eye stub in the color peacock I'm going to add about the same amount as we had for the other dubbing and we're going to dub just the front of the fly leaving some longer fibers if you pull the dubbing back as you go you won't have any problem near the eye so there we have the next dubbing ball or little dubbing color and then the last thing to do is to whip finish three turns and then I'm going to do the second one just to make sure this really stays in place pull really tight cut off the thread and then with the velcro you can just pick out some of this dubbing in front and then with the dubbing needle I'm going to add a thin coat of glue to the thread so there we have the Duke Nymph thanks for liking and commenting don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already see you next time and happy time